I can't be late. Let's go. Well, Nothing, unless you want a strap or a belt. It's up to you. This is where we're going to start. So we're going to start by feet underneath our hips. Woo, get warm. Always take that lovely shoulder roll. And then I want you to stop at the knees and I want you to dip your chin towards your chest and begin to let your arms just kind of flop forward. So almost slightly slumped in the upper body. And as you breathe, try and drop your shoulders, you lower your chin a little bit more. A little stretch in the neck. I'm going to take your fingers, slide your fingers together, drop down a little bit further in the upper back, and then try and part your fingers as you push your arms away from your shoulders and open out the shoulder blades. So you're kind of doing a little bit of a mini upper back stretch here. Go a little bit lower. And then roll it back up, turning your palms away, swing your arms up above your head. Drop your shoulders as you exhale, or lengthen out through the elbows. Take a little side bend, squeezing your abs in to control the movement. Squeeze your butt, lengthen out through the left side of your lat. Then come back into center as you inhale. Exhale, go to the other side. Inhale, center, bring the arms down in front of you, turn your palms up again, soften your knees, drop into that slumped over position and go a little bit further so your fingers come near your knees. And then again, push your shoulder blades apart as you squeeze your fingers together, arms away from the shoulders. And then roll it up, turn your palms away and lift up to the sky. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the butt, get over to the right, letting out through the left side of the body. Make sure your shoulder doesn't drop forward. Keep everything beautifully in line, aligned, and then back to center. Over to the other side, reach. And then back to the middle. We drop our arms down this time, let our arms just hang, stop on those knees, and roll it down to the floor. Go all the way down to your fingers touch the ground. So you've got a nice deep bend in the knee, that's fine. Take your arms slightly forward. And then I want you to extend your right leg as you sway your hips towards the left, back to the center, extending your left leg, bending your right leg, sway your hips to the right. So we're just gonna sway the hips. We're getting to those lower backs today. We're gonna get deep into the hamstrings. In fact, we will use bands, Marsha, in a minute. Just remember it's a good stretch you're going to do. So just sway side to side. Make sure you've got your heels grounded. Push your bottom to the sky. If you're really tight in your hamstrings, you might want to use a block. From centre, nice deep bend, come up onto your fingertips, stick your bottom behind like you did a squat, and just look up and lengthen out the spine. Shoulder blades are pulled back, and then exhale, curve the spine, extend the leg, drop your head and chest down towards the thighs. Deep bend, onto your fingertips, look up, lift and lengthen, shoulder blades squeeze back, and then exhale. Try and get those knees as straight as they will go. One more time. Look up, lift left them to the fingertips. Shoulders squeeze back behind. And then exhale, straight into the hamstrings again. Good. Bend the knees. Look forward. Take a little walk and bring yourself to your hands and knees. Whilst you're there, Lift your bottom up to the sky, lift your eye gaze up to the sky, and let the center of your back sink as you pull your shoulders away from the edge. And then go the absolute opposite way, scooping the belly in, squeezing, pushing that floor away to get that curvature in the spine. Breath in, exhale, lift your eye gaze, lift your bottom, slide the shoulders back. And then go again. One more time. Lift, 
and then curve. And then take a breath into forward exhale and shake your spine to a neutral spine. Take your left leg back and your right arm forward. So you're just on the toes and on the fingertips. Find a balance. You might want to tuck your toes under on that right foot. We're going to lift. We're going to squeeze out to the side, back to centre, tap it down. Up, out, centre, and down. So we're just doing a little bit of warmth in the body before we turn around and do most of this session lying on our backs. Lift, open, center, down. Four more on this side. Up, squeeze into the back, to the lower backs, especially last two. One more. And drop down to the center, lower down to your elbows, interlace the fingers, make your strong triangle position through the body. Tuck the toes and let's lift and let's stretch out here. So we're trying to lift our bottoms to the sky, first of all, on the tiptoes, lengthen the spine, and then press one heel down and switch to the other side. In those hamstrings again. Allow a bit of movement through the hips. And then pause in the middle, slide the toes a few inches back, and let's take it into plank. So we rock forward, we squeeze the belly, we lift back up. And we're going to do that 10 times. Just dropping forward, pushing back, controlling all through the core. Really smart, small, uh, whoop, big, slow, graceful, enjoying every part of this, which is a little bit of exercise here, and then a little bit of a stretch up here. I've got four more to do, so you should be around the same pace as me. Option is to drop to your knees if you need to, that's absolutely fine. You drop your knees, you swing forward, you push back, you lift the knee. One more. And then... Bring yourself forward and carefully drop yourself down to the ground. Rest the feet wide. Bring your fingertips to the side of the head. And let's wake up the spine with a bit of rotation. We lift. We squeeze the elbow to the sky, back to centre and down. We lift. We squeeze, centre and down. So just working alternate sides. Squeeze the butt. Keep the legs active, squeeze the abs, keep your tummy active. We're not here for long. So give me one more on each side, so 10 in total, five each side. And then just release down, slide your hands underneath your forehead. For a brief moment, wriggle the hips. Just let your body loosen a little bit. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and carefully push yourself up, child's pose. So just bring the feet together, the knees stay in their place, and we reach the arms close, narrow position, crawling the fingers forward, drawing the bottoms back into the heels, finding your breath here. Take the arms over to the left. Slide your right hand inside that left hand. And then use it to side bend down the sides of your lap. Lowering your right shoulder to the floor as you pull your hips back into your heels. Release it off. Walk the hands out the way. Slide your left hand to your right hand and back into your Have a big breath in.
And then release the arms back. Roll out. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips and with your hands to your feet. Pausing at your feet. Bend your knees. If you can, press the toes on top of your hands. Slide your hands underneath. If that's not for you, interlace your big toes. Or you can grab your band and slide your band underneath the of your feet. And then use your arm to drive yourself into strong hip and hamstring grip. Keep thinking about... Press your weight into your toes and then your knees pushing away and your head and chest lowering down. Take two more breaths wherever you are. Slide your hands up from the toes. Stay in a forward fold. Take your hands, interlace them behind the base of your spine and push your arms up and over and back away from you. And then inhale, return them back to the spine and do that again. Push them up. Inhale back one more time. Stretch them up and over. Reach, 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 reach. And then bring your hands back, drop them to the floor, walk forward and come onto those hands and knees again. Reset, pull the shoulders away from the ears, abs on. You can tuck your toes under the left foot and then reach the right leg back and the left up forward. Create a lovely straight line, reach. We tap down to the floor, we lift, we slide out to the sides, back to the center and back down again. So the hip bones stay square to the floor, it's abduction of the shoulder and abduction of the hip. So as you move your arm and leg away, your obliques so or the side of your abs take over. Four more. Last one. And then bring it back to center. Drop back down those elbows. We tuck those toes under again and we go back to that stretch. So first of all, bend the knees to lift your bottom high, lengthen the spine, melt your chest down, and then bend and extend those legs. And then press both your heels down to get that stretch. And then just slide back with the toes a few inches and we go back into that plank and down and lift it up. Ten times. Remember your options come forward, drop to the knees, push your bottom back and then lift your knees back up. Knees down, hips down, hips up, knees down. Five more. Squeeze the balance. Last one. And then drop the knees down, drop your body weight down. Slide your hands under your forehead, take a quick breather. Pull your legs a bit closer together. And then keeping your upper body fairly relaxed. Abs on, lift the legs, float them off the floor. Take them out wide. Squeeze them back together and lower them down. So lift, open out to that B, squeeze them back in and lower them down. We're doing eight of these. If you prefer to do one leg at a time, if your lower back doesn't like it, then just lift one, keep the other one grounded. Choose what works for you. Two more. Last one, big, big lift, big opening through those legs, big squeeze, and release it down. 
Slide your hands by the shoulders. Lift up, take the knees a little bit wider at a time. Jump pose. Reach the arms wider. Pull those fingers forward. Lower head and chest down. Take one more breath here, and then we're going to slide our hands in, and we're going to turn around and come sit on our bottoms and lie down onto the floor, flat down. Get your bag nearby. So we're going to slide down onto the floor. We take our arms out to T. Arms facing up towards the ceiling. Legs to T. Now, you just do a little toe tap down, both legs together, then lift the knees back in, and then just do a little reverse crunch, pulling your face of your spine off the floor to drive your thigh in towards your chest. So it's a slow moving exercise, just tapping down, squeezing in, small movement, relax your arms with this, and if you feel you're not relaxing your arms, drift them up above your shoulders instead. Give me four more, just really warm me up those lower abs. And then it's the upper abs, you drive the thighs in. And when you've done that, laugh, squeeze, pause at tabletop. Slide your hands around the front of the shins and just drive your knee slightly wider towards your armpit. Do a little rock side to side. back to the middle, arms out wide again, legs back to tabletop, we're going to float our knees halfway over to the right and our top leg, our left leg is going to straighten out, keeping the knee bone touching the thighs aligned, then we bend it through to centre, rock over to the left side and extend the right leg and so on, so just work through your breath, turn your head the opposite way, If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can extend both your legs. Reach them out, reaching towards the hand. Keep the breath going. We're going to do two more each side. Really drop that upper rib cage into the floor as you twist. Now, when you come to do your last one, you float your legs back into the center. Pause for a moment. Take a breath in, exhale, squeeze the abs a little bit more. Drop your knees to the right halfway. Tuck your heels towards your bottom and then extend your legs out towards your right hand, in and out. For 10, nine, eight, Seven, glue those tiny muscles in tight. Six, five, shoulder blades pinned to the floor. Four, three, last two. And when you've done the last one, drop your knees all the way down, catch the top thigh with your right hand and twist deep into that left shoulder. A little bit deeper, and then just slightly release your left arm so it's more comfortable. So as I bend my elbow, I can rest my hand on that shoulder. Release the thigh from that right hand. This right hand from the thigh, whatever. Now, without twisting the hips, lift your top leg up without rotating. 
extend it out towards the side of the room, bend it and pop it back down again. So a little bit of abdu abduction of the, the hip to get into the outer thigh. And then a little bit more of a hamstring stretch to kick your leg. So try and make sure as you kick your leg, it lines up with your hip. So you're almost at a 90 degree angle from the back down towards the heel. And if this is a little bit too much for you, you can just lift and lower. So we're not here for long. We're going to do three more. Now, please hold that last one in a straight line. Turn the toes to the sky, heel to the floor. Lift the leg up a little bit higher and pulse press up and down. Big movements. Nine, eight, squeeze the belly. Seven, six, so your tummy controlling. Four, three, two, one more. And lift all the way up. And then your right hand is going to catch the underneath of that calf and just take a brief stretch there. Bending the knee in towards your shoulder. You might want to grab it both hands. Release a little bit into the buttock. Keep hold of that left leg tucked in towards you and then just roll your body back into the middle and then drive that left thigh closer in towards your chest. Right, we can use our bags. It's up to you. You don't have to use them. You're feeling quite flexible. Put the bag around the ball of your foot and simply straighten the leg to the sky. Pull the left hip bone down. And once you feel like both your sitting bones are grounded, slide your right leg dead straight. So relax the shoulders down to the floor. Use your arms to lengthen that left knee. Taking hold of the band with your right hand, move the foot so it's just drifting above your right hip bone. Turn the toes inward, so it immediate your rotation from the hip, and then pull the toe towards your right shoulder, so the button is slightly lifted off the ground, but you're going to try and pull it back down for a resisted stretch. It's right around the outside of that hamstring. Nice to get stuck at this one. Yeah. Ten more seconds. Breathe deep into it. Come on, push, push, push that leg straight. And then we simply drift the leg back into center. When it hits the center, your right foot is going to slide in and you're going to a half frog leg position. So you're, um, you feel like you're kind of rocking more into the right side. Then get the bands with your left hand. Bend the knee out to the side like you're trying to go into frog leg. Wedge your left arm, if you can, inside that left leg, and then straighten the leg out behind you. I'm going to use my right hand for a little bit more resistance. And then you rock into the center, and then there's an equal balance both sides. So imagine you're trying to pull the foot to behind you rather than down towards the floor. Lengthen up. In a thigh stretch. Also hamstring. Come on, push into that band. Two more breaths. And then let the leg drift back to the center. Now, if you're using a band, slide your hands down to the tail end of the band. Make sure it's equal on that leg. Your right leg is going straight again. You're going to lift your head and shoulders into a crunch, and you can do some little arm pumps. Options to stay here. So if you're not using a band, just little pumps like this. Reach your fingers forward. And if you wish, you will more hover your right leg. And we're going to do 10 more seconds. Now, really crunch in, squeeze, lift. Five, four, three, two, and three. Head down, shoulders down one more time. Drive that left leg in. 
So just holding briefly onto that left leg, bend your right leg and pop the left ankle over the right knee and remove the balance inside. Slide your right heel in, arms down by your side, or you can just slide your arms behind you or lightly behind your head. And we're going to lift up into a half bridge, so one leg bridge. Lots of squeeze into the right buttock. And all we're going to do, nice and easy, tap the buttocks down and lift the bridge back up. Options to come onto your toes when you lift to the top. So the heel comes back down when you touch your bottom back down. 10 big squeezes up here. Three more. Big, big, big lift. One more. Just hold it briefly at the top. Lift onto those toes if you can. Squeeze up. And then inhale, heel down, exhale, roll out. And just let your knees fall over to the left. So that left foot stays sitting on that right knee and take it into a stretch. You don't have to have that foot on the leg. You just want to let your legs relax to one side. Do that instead. Now we're going to bring our bodies carefully back into the center again when you're ready. Keeping the ankle where it is on that right knee. Let your spine just come back to neutral. Right hand behind the head, left arm, just relax down by your side. And we're going to lift the right leg and we're going to twist to the left knee and we're going to tap the foot. We're going to tap the head down. So oblique rotation, hip mobility. More work to be done because the left leg acts with a little weight onto that leg. If you want to make this foot harder, you can extend that right leg and then try and keep it into a hover on the floor. Six more. Make it strong. Well, to walk side to side, be really strong about pushing your buttocks firmly to the ground. And when you've done your last one, drop your head and shoulders to the floor. Now extend that right leg up. Hold it there. Keeping it extended, catch around back and thigh. And then use your arm strength to drive your legs towards you. A little bit more weight in that right buttock. Open the left knee out. And then bend the heel into the bottom and go deep into your stretch. Perhaps you want to grab your shin, but you want to try and keep your shoulders on the floor. And then your coccyx pushing down as well. Give me long deep breaths here. And you just ease it off. Drop your right foot, drop your left foot, soles the feet together, knees out to the side, and rock your legs out to the side. Loosening up everything, holding no tension. Come back to the center. Bring the knees together, soles and feet flat on the ground. Arms out to T-shape, legs up to tabletop. We're going to go back to that side-to-side -side rotation, extending both our legs this time, either side. So if you did one leg before, do both legs. Or you can take it up a level and do it in your pendulum style. Straight legs, rocking side to side. A lot more weight is added to this, so your tummy muscles need to do a lot more work, but also 
don't let your shoulders lift off the ground. That's half the challenge of this exercise. We're going to go four more of these. Keep breathing through it. Slowly, slowly. And on that last one, travel into your left, put it all the way down, pause, bend the knees, tuck them in towards your heels, and then extend your legs for 10, 9, Eight, try and draw those toes up towards your left hand. Six, five, grip in a little bit more. Four, pull those thighs in closer towards your chest. Last two, one more, one more. And then you can drop to the left, catching the top thigh and twisting that right shoulder down. Enjoy your twist. Use an opportunity to breathe deeply. Extend that leg and briefly hold the hamstring stretch. That's what we do next, isn't it? I'm lying. Bend the knee. Ease off that right shoulder if you need to. Abs are on, we lift that leg up, we extend it out to the side, we bend it, and we lower it down. So back to the same thing. So as well as those exercises, you can take the load off just by lifting up, lowering down. Try not to twist your hips. So just allow that abduction to happen without Totally turning your body, your lower body around. Okay, six more of these. And we, when we want to do that last one, we lift up, we extend, we hold. We turn the toes to the sky, we lift higher, and we press past 10, 9. Now, fix in those abs, take the pressure off the buttock and into your tummy muscles. 6, 5, 4, 3, come on, last 2, and then hold that last one up. Now, put your left elbow on the ground and catch the leg. Take all the weight off that leg. Let it just drop into your arm. Begin to bend the knee and drive, catch it with your right hand to pull the knee up towards your shoulder. So the leg is quite relaxed. You're kind of holding the weight of the leg with the arm. And we begin to roll the body back into the middle. Popping our feet down, align yourself, spine in neutral, grab your band. And when you're ready, take the band around the ball of your right foot and put the leg straight up to the sky. Using your arms, you're pulling that leg in towards you, extending the knee, enjoying that hamstring stretch. Slide your left leg flat down to the ground and put that point of extension on the right leg. Keep the right buttock firmly on the floor for now as you push that leg straight up. Take the band in your left hand, move the heel just so it sits above your left hip bone, turn your toes in, 
Drive the toes towards your left shoulder and straighten that knee so the buttocks just slightly lifted. Take a little bit further over, Mark. A little bit more over to the left. More. And breathe that nasty outer thigh stretch. Take one more breath here, and then we just drift the leg back to the center again, sliding your left leg into that half frog position. Bend the right knee as if you're taking it out to the corner of the room. Right arm is wedged to the side, and then try and push that leg straight behind you. I'm going to hold it with my left arm as well. Because it's a strong resistance. Ten seconds, breathing into the stretch. Try the toes a little bit closer in towards your shoulder. Get abs fired on, lift that leg back up to centre. Bring that left knee in. Slide the left leg flat to the ground. Hands holding either side of the band, walking down the band. Lift the head and shoulders, go back to your pumps. Options lift your left leg. Lift those shoulders and press pump. If you're here, that's absolutely fine too. Keep working out. Breathing, keep squeezing. Five, four, three, two, and drop the left leg. Bend the right knee. The left leg bends, and we pop that ankle onto the left knee. Slide the left heel in, and then lift up into a bridge. Nice and strong in that left buttock. Once you've lifted up, we lower it back down, we lift it back up, we come up onto the ball of the foot, if you wish. But again, watch. Do ten of these. Big squeeze in that glute. Now, when you do that last, last one, lift it all the way up to the sky, big squeeze, take a breath in, lower the heel, exhale, roll it out. When you hit the ground, you just drop the knees to the right and stretch into that left side hip. We're keeping the legs in the same position as we bring our bodies back into the middle, settle back down into the center. Whilst you're there, the left hand goes behind the head, the right arm down by your side. We lift up and we come into a bleak twist, tapping the heel and the head together. Twisting up, dropping down. Again, make sure you're not wobbling side to side. You rotate the ribcage from the waistline. If you want to make it harder, you extend that left leg and you work up and down. We're going to do six more here, not here for long. Squeeze. Last two. Last one. Legs stay up in the air. Drop your head and shoulders and straighten the left leg to the sky. Hold it there. Squeeze it into the belly. Lift those thighs closely towards you. And then catch that thigh when you're ready. Keeping the leg straight to begin with, find that buttock stretch. Try and pull your shoulders down, a little bit more weight to the left buttock. Then you can bend the knee. You might want to catch the shin whilst you're there. That's the thing I do today. And breathe into that stretch, your last stretch of the day.
from shoulders down. About 20 more seconds, just enjoying this moment. Whilst you're in this position, just slide your hand around the back of the left thigh. If it's not really there, take the right foot off the knee, pull the thigh in, and just bring yourself to a comfortable seated position. Move down by your side, lift up. Ooh. Raise your right arm and come into a little side stretch. Just a lovely C curve. We start with a C curve, we end in a C curve. Just take your eye gaze underneath the arm and reach further. Sticks firmly to the floor. And inhale, exhale, slide to the other side. Left buttock firmly push down. Reach, take the eye gaze underneath the arm if you can. Inhale, raise the arm up when you're ready. Bring the fingertips down by your side, lift the shoulders, and then inhale your arms. Bring your hands together, bow down. Thank you so much, my little group. Oh, it's a bit nicely stretched out now. Well,